Teresa, I know we've told your comeback story and everyone was rooting for you. Walk me through the emotions of your first career catches out on that field. We didn't get to talk to you after the game. Man, uh, it, it was pretty amazing. Like, to be honest, I didn't really realize that at first until uh, Jack came up to me. He was like, hey, man, congratulations. Like, I know that was your first catch. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, you know, I was just really focused on trying to get the ball back to the rep. But, man, it was really amazing. Obviously, it was a milestone. Uh, man, it was just a blessing, man. You know, it just felt good. George Primer. Lisa, I know you've been very open about keeping your faith the entire time through this. You've had your ups and your downs. How much confidence has the last couple of weeks in practice given you and then to go out and take that to the playing field on Sunday? Oh, man, I had so much confidence. Because like you said, man, I, I've been through a lot, you know, over this last uh, few years, man. You know, it's been a lot of ups and downs within my career. And then the ankle injury was just the cherry on top with all of that, man. So it, I definitely have a lot of confidence just – I'm just treating every day like it's a game. You know, uh, obviously over the past few years, I haven't been able to play in a lot of games. So I was just taking that uh, energy to practice, man, and just treating every practice like a game. It really helped me just go out here and, and be prepared and be ready when my number was called. Joel Erickson. Clarice, uh, you mentioned that it wasn't just uh, the ankle that was that was some of the low points. What was What were the other hardest points for you in this last couple of years? Man, it was crazy, man. Uh, one big thing that really hurt me was the loss of my grandmother. Uh, my rookie year, uh, that was a woman that raised me. Everyone knows me best. They know I was I'm a grandma boy. Uh, I was raised by both of my grandmas. I lived with both of them ever since I was, as long as I can remember. But um, that was one of the biggest things, man. Obviously, you know, uh, becoming a father, you know, everyone knows that's a challenge as itself. Uh, but yeah, man, just raising my daughter and uh, just losing my grandma, man. You know, it was very tough. And obviously getting cut, you know, being the only rookie uh, to get cut in this, you know, famous rookie class, man, it really hurt me a lot. So just able to – just trying to bounce back from all of that, you know, just trying to become a new dad, man. It was just a lot on my mental. But thank God, man, I got through it, and it's brighter days ahead now. When when did your when did your grandmother pass? That, that? Oh, it was October 24th of my rookie year. I believe the 24th or the 26th, one of the days, man. It literally was a week right before her birthday because her birthday was on Halloween. I remember actually being in the facility, being in the hallway when I got the call, man. And I literally just drove to Wisconsin right after that. So it was pretty tough. And what was her name? Luella Fountain. And last question, Phil B. Hey, Reese. Um, You've obviously uh, learned a lot through coming back from injuries um, or injury. You see your brothers get hurt. You see wide receivers go down. I, I saw your interaction on Twitter with Paris. I know it breaks your heart, but how much, how difficult is that to separate your emotion and say, okay, I got a job to do and I want an opportunity, even though I hate to see other guys go down? Yeah, man, it's really difficult because obviously, you know, from a firsthand experience, I know what they're going through. And with my injury experience, as all you may know, like it, it was tough, man. You know, I went from having three surgeries and literally just going up and down. It was really a roller coaster for me. And so I know how that feel, man. I know how I feel to just get down in the dumps and then just being away from the team that long and just, you know, sometimes you have them doubts, man. Them doubts start creeping in on you. Will I ever be the same? Will, you know, will I ever get back to the game that, you know, I truly love? So. Man, I just got confidence that they're both going to come back. Obviously, they're both some tough kids, man. I know Pitt's going to be back uh, sooner, hopefully. But, man, you know, I just pray that they both just, just keep their heads high because we they know that we're battling for them and we're going to keep them in our prayers and we're just going to keep pushing for them at the end of the day. Thank you, sir. I want you to do one more, Olivia Ray. Reese, we know you stepped up when you were called upon during the game, but now that you're preparing for an even bigger opportunity this week, how are you approaching this week? Is there anyone you're leaning on right now at this time? Oh, man, I love it. I love it, man. Every This is literally, I, I prayed for this moment over and over. But obviously, man, you know, just stepping and leaning on my teammates and obviously my coaches, obviously, you know, I just want to go out here throughout this week and just gain the trust throughout my whole teammates and just let them know that. You know, I'm preparing. You know, I literally got to treat each week the same. Like, even though I know I wasn't playing when I got cut and I was on practice squad, I literally treated each week like I can be brought up and have a, a significant role each week. So it's like, 
you know, I'm just going to go out there, just keep my head down, just work, man, just dive into the book and just lean on Philip, T.Y., all those guys to just help me get through.